Welcome to my virtual world. I'm Marie and it's so lovely to be with you. Are you finding it difficult to be motivated and focused in these times of flux? I opened the fridge door yesterday and as I gazed inside, wondering what on earth I was looking for, I realized it was a dustpan and brush that I needed. Sound familiar? For my seasoned students of yoga, the concept of bringing focused attention to the, your practice isn't a new one. Dharana is a fundamental aspect of yoga and is the state of mental focus that comes before meditative absorption. It transforms us from that state of dispersed, scattered thinking to quiet one-pointedness. Know by shining the light of awareness into the murky darkness, you start to see things as they are, the truth of the situation as it is now. In this practice, let the object of your attention be yourself. Stay in the body with the breath, feeling and sensing moment by moment, movement by movement, breath by breath, no analysis, no judgment. That's the superficial, busy mind kicking in. See it when it rears up, but let it go. An ancient sage of old, Patanjali, wrote that yoga is the restraint of the mind stuff. As you focus on your practice, let all your senses serve the mind. Be intently focused and connected flowing and dissolving into self and when this happens we gather up all those scattered shattered pieces of self and we come to wholeness that's when we begin to move into a meditative state our intention for today's practice is to stay focused as we move motivate and meditate together have enough height under the buttocks so you can sit upright on your sit bones and perineum. We're going to be coming forward so you may choose to have your knees supported with a rolled towel. You can even do this sitting on a chair with another one in front. This will be demonstrated later. The pelvic bowl needs to be level. And if you find yourself with your knees way higher than your hips or sitting back towards your tailbone, struggling to sit upright, then get more height to sit on. And once we're established in an easy, upright sitting position with the ears over the shoulders, over the hips, with the shoulders relaxed down so that the neck is long and easy, I want you to reach the arms out to the side. Before we do, the arm raises, just bring the right leg to the front of the simple cross leg, right shin in front. And as you breathe in, reach the arms out to the side and up. And on the breath out, lower the arms out to the side and down. Reach energy into those fingertips. Breathing in, out to the side and up. Breathing out, coming all the way down. Last time. Breathing in, reach the arms all the way up. Pause at the top with the shoulders relaxed down, the neck long. Reaching into the thumbs and the four fingers, the little fingers and the two fingers in between. Bring that energy up from the sit bones into the fingertips. Energize as you breathe. And on the next breath out, Lower the arms down. You may choose to have blocks in front. Um, we're going to tip forward now. So we'll try walking the sit bones back and on the next breath out, start to tip the pubic bone forward, keeping length on the front body from pubis to throat. You may have more stretch. You may be able to come to the floor and walk the hands forward. Keep walking the sit bones back and tipping from the pelvic bowl, keeping the waist long. If you've got more stretch, try bringing the elbows down. Maybe they won't go to the floor, but maybe they can come to blocks. If there's still stretch left, open the elbows wide, out to the side and 
Bring one hand on top of the other. Maybe you can bring the forehead down to the back of the hands or onto, the, onto a block. Stay here and breathe, breathing into the back of the pelvis, the outer hips, the lower back. Feel where the resistance is. Maybe it's in the side of the thighs. Just breathe, no strain though. And on the next breath in, start to lengthen through the spine. If you were low down, bring yourself onto your hands, straightening the arms so that you're angled forward with the spine long and tipping from the top of the legs. From here, we're going to walk the hands. You can bring your blocks with you if you're using them. Round to the left. And I want you to keep that right buttock grounding and feel the twist from the inner left, right groin. I want you to move those lower back right ribs round to the left, lengthening through that left side, flattening off through the back of the body. You might be able to walk the hands further forward from that left knee. You want the body, the center line of the body, lengthening along the inner left thigh. Bring the head down and the trunk down if there's stretch, but keep the right buttock grounded and breathe through that right side, keeping the shoulders relaxed, breathing easy. On the breath in, just walk the hands back if you're a long way forward so that the spine is long and the arms are straight. Can you walk? Bring the block with you if you're using blocks. Your left hand out in line with the left hip. Can you open through the trunk into a side stretch, keeping the right buttock grounded, reach through the right side. Keep the shoulders, especially that left shoulder, moving away from the ears. Don't let it ride up and breathe and reach and stretch out from your pelvic rim through the right side of the waist and the ribs. Feel the stretch under the shoulder blade, in through the tricep and out into the fingertips. And on the next breath in, we're pulling all the way back up. Move the shoulders down and change the cross leg, this time bringing the left shin to the front of the pile. Move the shoulders down, sit upright and lengthen. Have your blocks available in front of you if you're using them or a chair. Breathing in, I want you to reach the arms out to the side and up. And on the breath out, reach the arms down. Do this with energy. Breathe in from the sit bones. Reach all the way up. Breathing out all the way down. Last time. Breathing in, reaching all the way up. Pause here to breathe, to consciously move the shoulders down, keeping the neck long, jaw relaxed, fingers reaching, sit bones grounding. And on the breath out, Lower the arms down, bringing the hands forward towards the floor as you walk the sit bones back, tipping the pubic bone forward, edging yourself forward, keeping the front body long. Walk the hands as far forward as your body will allow without strain. Keep the knees comfortable, have them supported if that is necessary. If you've got stretch left, perhaps come down onto the elbows. Perhaps even take the elbows out to the set side. Remember, no strain or force. The ideal is to have the forehead resting on the back of the hands, on the block. Just do what's comfortable. Some of you who are really tight might have your elbows on your knees with the hands cupped and your forehead resting on the hands. Just be here, breathing into the back of the pelvis, the outer thighs, the outer hips. Where is that stretch? No knee strain. And on the next breath in, 
just come up if you're a long way forward so that you're angled with the arms straight. We're going to walk the hands, bring your blocks with you, round to the right now so that the hands move about 45 degrees over to the right from your center line so that the either side reaching out either side of the right knee i want you to rotate the trunk from the groin the top of the pelvic rim the left pelvic rim keeping the left buttock grounding bringing those left lower back ribs round really feel that twist that you're getting i want you to walk the hands out from the knees if the stretch left keeping the center line of the trunk lengthening along the inner right thigh breathe here with comfortable knees with the neck and shoulders relaxing down the back of the body stay here breathe now we're going to move our right hand out in line with our right hip. Bring a block if the floor feels too far away. Open the trunk over to the right, rotating the trunk to the ceiling. Keep that right shoulder blade moving down so that the neck is long, no jamming the shoulders. Can you bring a line of force? from the top of the left pelvic rim through to the left fingers, breathing through that left side. And on the next breath in, let's reach the body upright. We're going to move onto our hands and knees for a vibrancy flex. Keep the focus in and Focus on your perfect postural alignment. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Hands spread, fingers long. Shins front of the ankles, top of the foot grounded. As you breathe in, push the tail up, pubis back, navel and ribs down, reach the chest forward and the chin forward. And on the breath out, tuck the tail lift the pubis navel ribs and chest up as you pull the chin in away you go breathing and rolling the spine staying with this movement with the breath taking about five to six seconds on the breath in five to six seconds on the breath out moving from the pelvis feeling that wave action through the spine and on the next breath in, bring a line of force through the spine that's parallel with the ground. You may need to tuck the tail slightly and lift the pubis to bring the back of the waist parallel with the floor. You want the whole spine to form a tabletop plateau with the back of the hips and shoulders parallel with the floor. Neck and head in line with the spine. We're going to do a cross patterning next. So on the next breath in, try reaching the right leg back and the left arm forward, reaching out from center, from your navel. And on the breath out, bring that right leg and left arm down to the ground, grounding simultaneously, hand and knee. Breathing in, reach the left leg back, the right arm forward breathing out coming back to ground with both limbs simultaneously away you go alternating the sides breathing in reaching opposite arm out from center keeping the hips and the shoulders parallel with the floor remember with each breath out the knee and the hand ground at exactly the same moment Keep going, taking about five to six seconds on the breath in, five to six seconds on the breath out. Pause momentarily, the end of the breath in to feel that reach out from center. You're not just lifting the limbs up, you're reaching out from center. 
And on the next breath in, just pause with the arm and the leg reaching out from center. You must be able to breathe in this position. Keep the shoulders and hips level, the leg that's raised, the front of the leg facing the floor and on the breath out, ground. Can you breathe in and reach the opposite arm and leg out from center, keeping that perfect alignment, keeping the breath flowing and reaching and being easy. Stay with the breath and on the next breath out, hands and knee down. Walk the knees wide, bring the big toes together, pushing the pelvis back towards the heels, opening the abdomen, ribs and chest through the thighs. Keep the shoulders moving away from the ears, but keep the arms active. You might need to do some wrist rotations if you feel that the wrists were a little bit tired at the end of that. Just release any tensions. And then from here, reach into those fingers, rock up onto the hands and knees, bring the knees under the hips, feet and legs hip width apart. We're going to push up into dog with the head down. On the next breath out, push up from both hands evenly and reach the sit bones up towards the ceiling. Keep the knees bending so that you can lengthen through the back of the body, opening the abdomen towards the thighs, the chest towards the knees, the armpits towards the top of the feet. Push up from those hands into the outer hips and reach the sit bones up. Let's pedal the legs slowly, deliberately, observing the trajectory of the heels. Make sure that they're moving directly back and down. Don't let them pull in. Keep pedaling the legs, feeling the stretch. And on the next breath in, rock up onto the toes of both feet. And on the breath out, reach both heels down. On the next breath in, slowly, deliberately, don't race. Start to bend the knees out to the side, down to the mat. Did both knees come to the ground simultaneously? As you breathe out, bring the big toes together, open the knees wide and push the pelvis back. Pause here just for a breath or two to breathe the front body through the thighs towards the floor, opening the armpit and the chest plate towards the floor, but keeping the shoulders moving down, keeping those hands gently reaching forward as the pelvis gently reaches back. Let's go again. Breathing in, rock forward. Knees under the hips, legs parallel. Turn the toes under and as you breathe out, open into your dog down position. Don't rush. If you catch yourself rushing and racing, slow down on the breath. Breathing in, rock up onto the toes. Breathing out, reach both heels down. Breathing in, start to open the knees wide, out to the side, down to the mat. Breathing out, big toes together, push the pelvis back. One more round, rest if you need to. Breathing in, rock forward onto the hands and knees. Bring the feet and knees hip width apart. Turn the toes under, position your hands carefully. From the grounding in those hands, push up into your dog down on the breath out. On the breath in, rocking right up onto the toes. How much height can you get? How much opening can you get through the back body, through the front body? On the breath out, reach the heels down, slowly, deliberately, steering them back, breathing in, open the knees wide, out to the side, down to the mat. 
Breathing out, bring the big toes together as you push the buttocks back. Again, pause here to breathe. We're going to push up into one more dog down and then walk the feet forward into that forward hanging position. On the next breath in, rock forward. Position the hands and knees, hip width apart, turn the toes under. On the breath out, push up from the hands and open into your dog down position. Feel that dog down. Are you strong? Are you pushing up evenly from left and right hands? Reaching into the outer hips, opening through the back body, the front body. You might have to have the knees bent to keep the back flat. That's fine. Keep those heels reaching down and the sit bones lifting, even with the knees bent. And from here, everybody bend the knees and slowly, gently walk the feet towards the hands as gracefully and as smoothly as your body will allow. Standing with the feet, hip width apart, looking at the alignment of your feet. Toes tracking forward, heels pointing back, ankles lifting up vertically. Legs parallel, sit bones lifting, knees bent, body hanging. And on the next breath out, slowly, deliberately anchor into your feet as you start to roll the spine up, vertebra by vertebra, coming up to a standing position, rolling the shoulders down, lifting the head upright. Let's pause to feel that upright standing position, perfect postural alignment. Tadasana. I want you to push into the feet as you reach into the crown, bringing the ears over the shoulders, over the hips, over the ankles. Pelvic bowl level, waist long, chest lifting, shoulders down. Neck long, easy, floating over the shoulders. Remember, don't be rigid, but be active. How much can you relax within the extension? Breathing in, ground into the feet, raise the arms all the way up. And on the breath out, we're twisting to the right, turning the head to look down the upturned palms. Breathing in, pull back to center. Breathing out, twisting to the left. Breathing in, pulling back to center. Don't race. Breathing out, moving to the side over to the right, reach through the left, breathing in, pull back to center, breathing out, reach over to the left and stretch through the right, breathe in, move back to center, anchor into both feet, breathe out, hinge over the top of the legs towards the horizontal, remember you don't have to go all the way, but keep the spine long and the legs strong. Breathe in, reach all the way up. Can you bring your arms together? Can you arc the neck back? No straining. On the breath out, pull the hands down your center line, bringing the thumbs to the chest. The, move your chest to the thumbs. Just pause here to feel your postural alignment, ears over shoulders, over hips, over ankles, pelvic bowl level, ribs stable. Breathe in, open the palms, the arms and the chest. Pause with the arms out at shoulder level, reaching into the fingertips, grounding into the feet, moving down into the tail, reaching up into the crown with the shoulders moving down, the chest lifted. Breathe and reach out from center every which way. And on the next breath out, bring the hands to the back of the pelvis, little fingers to the center line, elbows in, shoulder blades squeezing towards the spine. Breathe in, 
Tuck the tail, lift the pubis, reach the chest up as you arc back. Look back. Can you stay back? Breathe back. And on the next breath out, smoothly move all the way forward and down. Let's pause to hang, to look at our feet and check that the alignment is still perfect. Always keep coming back to your postural alignment, coming back to the breath. Let the breath be smooth and deep. Each breath is a movement, each movement is a breath. On the next breath out, roll the spine up, bringing the shoulders down and the head up. Open the legs wide, out to the side bringing your blocks over to the right because we will need them later so have them available i want you to make sure that the toes are tracking forward and the heels are pointing back it's exactly the same position as we had with the feet hip width apart this time the legs are wider so it'll be harder to keep that pelvic bowl level Tuck the tail, lift the pubis, feel how much the abdomen and the buttocks have really got to engage now to keep the bowl level. Lift the chest, are your ears over your shoulders, over your hips, over the line of the legs and the feet? Reach those arms wide, feeling everything reaching out from center as you ground and breathe. From the grounding in the feet, breathe in, reach all the way up. And on the breath out, we're diving forward again, keeping the spine long. Don't go beyond the horizontal, even if you've got the flexibility to do so. Breathing in, pull all the way up. Breathing out, let's lean over to the left. Reach through the right. Breathe through the right. Feel the wave of the breath, opening the waist and the ribs, maybe under the shoulder blade, breathing through that tricep into the fingertips again. Breathing in, pull back. And on the breath out, we're going to lean over to the right and stretch this time through the left. Breathe through the left, feel through the left. Feel the wave of the breath opening and releasing tissues and joints. Breathing in, pull all the way up. Breathing out, dive towards the horizontal. Keep those arms in line with the shoulders. Breathing in, pull all the way back to the top. And on the breath out, just lower the arms down. Let's move to the right, pointing the left heel back and bringing the right toes forward. And before we start with the flow, check your postural alignment. The feet should be hip width apart with the outer feet in line with the outer hips. The more you can point the left heel back, keeping it grounded, the more you'll be able to bring the left hip round. The aim is to bring the hips parallel with the front of your mat. If the hips aren't parallel, at least turn the body at the waist so that the upper chest and trunk is parallel. Move the shoulders down. Now that we're aligned, we're going to move on the breath. Remember, each breath, each smooth rhythmic breath is a movement. Each movement is a breath. Keep it smooth and flowing, feeling and timing the breath with the movement. Breathe in, reach the arms up. Breathe out, bend the right knee. Don't take it beyond the ankle. Breathe in, bend the arms out to the side, keeping the elbows and forearms back. Breathe out, move the fingers towards each other above the head, diamond arms. Keep those elbows and forearms back, shoulders down. Breathe in, open the elbows back into cactus arms. On the next breath out, 
we're going to straighten the legs, straighten the arms as we dive forward into that forward bending position. Breathe in, reach all the way up. Breathe out, bend the leg at the knee. Breathe in, bend the arms at the elbows, cactus arms. Breathe out, diamond, fingers to center. Keep the arms at a right angle. Breathe in, back to cactus. On the breath out, straighten the legs, straighten the arms as you dive forward to the horizontal, keeping the trunk centered on the pelvis between the legs. Breathing in, pull all the way up. Last time, breathe out, bend the right knee. Breathe in, bend the elbows, cactus arms. Breathe out, fingertips above the head, diamond. Breathe in, back to shoulder level, cactus arms. Breathe out, diving forward, center line of the trunk, long and centered on the pelvis between the legs. Take a deep breath in here. And on the next breath out, can you bring the hands to either ground on the floor or the blocks? Make sure you've got enough height. You might even need a chair to bring the hands onto. Stay here and breathe. Let the head relax forward. Keep the back foot anchored. Keep weight into the inner balls of the feet. On the next breath in, lengthen the spine. You're going to bend the right knee and you're going to hop the left leg back so that you come into the lunge pose with the right shin vertical. Adjust the distance between right and left legs so you can sink and come into a nice aligned lunge. Steer that right hip back and lengthen through the spine, chest open. On the next breath in, start to walk the hands round to centre, swinging the feet and the trunk round with you so that the feet are parallel, coming into the expanded leg pose. Just lengthen through the spine, lift those inner ankles, ground into the outer edge of the feet. I want you to bring those blocks round to the left foot before maybe bringing the feet a little bit closer together so we can do that series on the other side. Breathe in, circle the arms all the way out to the side and up and on the breath out just lower the arms down, just a line. Feel the ground, feel that the ears are over the shoulders, are over hip, the hips, are over the line of the legs and the feet. Are the shoulders relaxed? Is the breathing smooth? Breathe in, circle the arms out to the side and up. Breathe out, dive forward towards the horizontal. Breathe in, pull all the way up. Breathe out, reach over to the right, stretch through the left. Breathe in, pull back to centre. Breathe out, reach over to the left, stretch through the right. Breathe in, back to centre. Breathe out, diving forward, reaching out from centre, from the grounding in the feet. Breathing in, reach up and on the breath out let's lower the arms down and turn to the left turning the right heel to point back and the left foot and leg out 90 degrees bringing your body to look left making sure you've got perfect alignment outer feet in line with the outer hips pointing that right heel back as far as you can so you can bring the right outer hip round, how much can you bring it round? 
aiming to bring the pelvis parallel with the front of the mat, turning at the waist, so at least the trunk is parallel with the front of the mat. Shoulders relaxed down. Are you ready to flow? On the breath, breathing in, reach the arms up. Breathing out, bend that left knee. Don't take it beyond the ankle. Breathing in, bend the arms out to the side, keeping the forearms and the elbows back. Breathing out, fingertips above the head, keeping the right angle, diamond. Breathe in, come back to cactus arms. And on the breath out, start to straighten the legs and arms as you dive forward, centering the center line of the trunk on the pelvis between the legs. Breathe in, pull all the way up. Breathe out, bend the left knee. Breathe in, bend the elbows out to the side. Breathe out, keep the arms back, shoulders down, diamond. Breathe in, cactus arms. Breathe out, straightening the leg and arms diving forward. Reach into the feet, reach into the crown and the tail. Steer the hips back, breathe in, pull all the way up, last time. Breathe out, bend the knee. Breathe in, bend the arms at the elbow. Breathe out, fingertips to center, diamond. Breathe in, cactus arms. Breathe out, diving forward, reaching forward, pushing the tail back, steering the hips level. Pause here to steer that right hip and buttock forward as you take the left hip and buttock back, lengthening through the trunk. And on the next breath out, bring the hands down and just pause to let the body hang over the top of the legs. Feel that you're tipping the pelvis forward, not bending at the waist. Let the head and neck relax. From here, lengthen the spine and on the breath in, start to bend the left knee, hopping the right foot back until you come into that lunge position. Lengthen and steer that left hip and buttock back so you can lengthen through the left side of the trunk. Open the chest, keep the chest expansive and full. From here, let's walk the hands and the feet round to the expanded leg pose, coming back to center. Can you lengthen through the spine, keeping the sit bones lifting up, pelvis back over the line of the legs and the feet? Can you bring the hands onto the thighs, keeping the spine long, the neck long. Now some of you might have more stretch. Can you walk the hands down the outer thigh, maybe towards the calf, maybe towards the ankles? If there's still stretch, maybe bend the elbows out to the side. We're aiming to bring the head to ground. If your head comfortably grounds, make sure you're not rounding the spine. Don't have the legs so wide that the spine's got to round to ground. Keep the neck long, the spine long. You may have to adjust the distance of the feet. Everybody now, just lengthen the spine. Start to walk the hands up, the thighs, till the spine's at the horizontal. Bring the hands onto the blocks. We're going to finish this standing series with a squat position. So for those who need it, bring your blocks in a chair, a little platform behind the heels. Start to heel toe the feet back to center. Remember, you might be um, wanting to roll your mat under your feet. This is demonstrated now so that you can keep the heels grounded. That's the ideal. 
from here start to make sure your feet are hip width apart with the toes turned out about 45 degrees and on the breath out start to lower the pelvis down remember you might need to come onto your hands and knees to come into a comfortable squat a chair squat is perfect just pause here to breathe and lengthen through the spine, opening the chest, hands together. Use the arms to see if you can steer those knees wide without straining the groins there. The heels ideally should be grounded. Breathe. And then from here, we're going to move gently into a lying position. So come back onto the body, the back of the body and just Ease yourself into the little boat pose, bending the knees up towards the chest and start rocking from side to side and just pause to feel what's going on at this stage of the program. Just bring those feet down to ground now with the knees bent, shoulders walking down. We're going to be moving into a bridge pose series. So come into the restful pose with the feet and legs hip width apart. The ideal is to have the shins vertical with the knees over the ankles. Feel for that. Toes tracking forward, heels pointing back, toes long. Hands to the side of the trunk. We're going to be doing an extended bridge pose series next. And it's a very demanding synchronized moving and breathing sequence. We come into a one-legged bridge and for this reason if you find you can't keep the pelvis stable with only one leg grounded or if the rhythm of the breath is disturbed please use a raised surface such as blocks or books or a firmly folded towel or blanket under the pelvis so that you can do a supported bridge you might, may find that you just want to have a gentle approach, that that's more appropriate at this stage of your practice session, or to honour your body as it feels today. Remember, it's imperative that we practice with integrity. Integrity always. When you're ready, either at ground level or with your pelvis raised up on a surface, I will be demonstrating the pelvic, with the pelvic raised movement. You're just going to be moving, obviously, the arms and the legs. And this is all about timing the leg and the arms, the pelvis, all together with the breath. Remember, this requires your full focus. It's another meditative moving and breathing series. So just let the breath settle and connect with the breath, grounding those feet. And as you breathe in, we're going to reach the arms over as you raise the pelvis, waist, ribs and chest up. Keep the pelvis lifted and on the breath out, just lower the arms down, grounding simultaneously. Breathing in, as you raise the arms over, bend the right knee up towards the chest, keeping the pelvis stable. On the breath out, as the arms come down, straighten the right leg to the vertical. As you breathe in and the arms come over, bend the right knee to the chest. On the breath out, as the arms come down, bring the foot to the floor, keep the pelvis lifting. On the next breath in from the grounding in both feet, reach both arms over. And on the breath out, as you lower the arms down, lower the ribs, the waist and the pelvis, grounding all simultaneously. That was half around, just on one side. We're going to move into the next side. And before we do, just know, I want you to watch the trajectory of your knees and your legs as you move in and out of the pose. 
Keep the knees in line with your hips. They'll want to pull in and push out. That's the raised leg, the moving leg and the grounded leg. Keep them aligned. Be aware of that as we move through the position on the left side. From the grounding in the feet, breathe in. Raise the arms over as you lift the pelvis, waist, ribs and chest up. And on the breath out, just lower the arms down, keeping pelvis lifted. On the next breath in, as you raise the arms over, bend the left knee to the chest. And on the breath out, as you lower the arms down, straighten the left leg to the vertical. Breathing in, the arms are coming over, the knee bends to the chest. And on the breath out, as the arms come down, the foot comes down. See if you can keep the pelvis lifting. This time the arms come over as the feet ground. And on the next breath out, start to move the arms down as you lower the ribs, the waist and the pelvis. Pausing in restful pose, ready for the next round. You might choose if you were doing it independently to be more restful now on a surface. You can even rest. Let's go again. Breathing in, arms over, raise the pelvis, waist, ribs and chest up. On the breath out, just lower the arms down. On the next breath in, as the arms come over, bend the right knee to the chest. And on the breath out, as the arms come down, straighten the right leg to the vertical. As you breathe in and the arms come over, bend the knee to the chest. And on the next breath out, as the arms come down, bring the foot to ground on the floor. Breathing in, the arms come over. And on the breath out, as you lower the arms down, lower the ribs, the waist and the pelvis. Realign and centre so that we can move smoothly into the left side. Breathing in, arms over, raise the pelvis, waist, ribs and chest up. And on the breath out, just lower the arms down. Breathing in as the arms come over, bend that left knee to the chest. Breathing out as the arms come down, straighten the left leg to the vertical. Breathing in as the arms come over, knee to chest. Breathing out, the arms come down and just the foot comes down, the pelvis remains lifted. Breathing in, both arms over. And on the breath out, lower the ribs, the waist and the pelvis down. We're going to move into our last round now. And we're going to end it differently. So be prepared. Again, you can choose to bring a bolster or, a bl or blocks under the pelvis or just rest. When you're ready, from the grounding in the feet, breathing in, raise the arms over, lifting the pelvis, waist, ribs and chest up. Breathing out, just lowering the arms down. On the next breath in, as we reach the arms over, bend the right knee to the chest. And as you breathe out and lower the arms down, straighten the right leg to the vertical. Breathing in, I want you to open the arms out to shoulder level. Breathing out, bring the outer right ankle to the top of the left thigh at the knee. Can you pause here and breathe? Can you keep the back of the pelvis level? The buttocks will really have to be switched on now to stabilize that pelvis. Can you open that right knee out towards the bottom of the mat without dropping the right hip. Can you breathe here? On the next 
breath out, lower the ribs, the waist and the pelvis down, keeping the knee opening out to the side. Moving the block, blocks from under the pelvis if you're raised up. On the next breath out, we're going to twist, keeping the outer, we're just going to twist on the outer edge of the left foot. Know that the left foot will want to slide in towards your center line, but you're going to keep it in its line, in line with the hip. On the breath out, start to twist both legs over to the left as you keep that right knee moving back towards the bottom corner of the mat, up towards the ceiling. Don't let the right leg drop down to the left. Can you bring that right foot to ground on the floor? If you're tight, you might choose to bring it onto a block or a rolled blanket. See if you can ground it there. Can you keep the right shoulder grounded and turn the face and head to look down the right arm. Just stay here and breathe, feeling where there's resistance and stretch. Breathe into that. Maybe it's in the, in the front of the pelvis that you're feeling it, the outer hip. Maybe it's the buttocks or the ribs. This is a fantastic balancing pose balancing up the pelvis and the, the back into the shoulders. Stay here and breathe. There might be a very different feel when you come to do this on the other side. The aim is to hold this stretch for a minute. And on the next breath in, pull the knees back to center. We've just opened the front of the pelvis and the outer thigh. Now we're going to open more through the back of the pelvis. Can you tightly cross your right leg around your left in a tight ladylike cross? You can even hook the right toes around the left calf if your leg shape will allow. It's not important there. Take a deep breath in here. And we're going to, on the breath out, do three twists to the right before we twist to the left. So on the breath out, take both knees over to the right as you turn your head to the left. Feel the spine twist. Breathing in, come back to center. Breathing out, twist to the right again. Breathing in, pull back to center. Breathing out as you twist the legs to the right, you're turning your head to the left. Breathing in, come back to center. And on the next breath out, we're going to twist both legs all the way over to the left. Use a surface to bring the legs over if you feel, or bring the legs onto if you feel that you've been dragged too far into a twist. I want you to be able to relax and let go of the legs. Turning the head to look down that right arm, keeping the right shoulder and as many of the right ribs moving towards the floor as possible. Stay here and breathe down to the belly. Seeing if you can allow gravity in the breath to open you into the twist. Remember, never jam into the twist. Don't force. Let your body open naturally. And on the next breath in, let's bring the knees back to center. Let's unravel those legs. Bring the feet to ground. And for those who were practicing on a surface, bring the surface under the back so we can do that whole series on the left side now, starting with the one-legged bridge. Just position yourself comfortably with the back of the pelvis supported if you're using a support. From the grounding in the feet, are they aligned? Are the arms at the side of the trunk? Are the shoulders relaxed down? Is the neck long? Breathe in. As you reach the arms over, 
Raise the pelvis, waist, ribs and chest up. And on the breath out, just lower the arms down, keeping the pelvis lifted. On the next breath in, as the arms come over, bend the left knee to the chest. And as you breathe out and take the arms down, raise the left leg to the vertical. On the next breath in, keep the leg at the vertical and open your arms out to shoulder level. Can you stay balanced? Breathing out, we're going to bend the left leg at the knee, but we're going to bring the left ankle to the top of the right thigh. Open that left knee out towards the left corner of the mat without dropping the left buttock down. Keep the buttock stable. Breathe here. Breathe. And then when you're ready, slowly lower the ribs, the waist and the pelvis down. Move the blocks or the blankets from under the pelvis if you were using the surface. Keep the knee opening wide. Keep the back of the pelvis grounded evenly. Shoulders down and on the breath out, you remember you're not sliding that right foot in towards your center line. You're just rocking onto the outer edge of the right foot. As you breathe out, twist both legs over to the right, moving your right foot towards the floor but keeping your ankle grounded on the top of the thigh by the knee. Bring a block or a surface to support the knee or the thigh or the foot if they're dangling in midair. And from that grounding I want you to open that left knee and thigh up to the ceiling and back. Don't let the left leg drop towards the floor, which it wants to. Lift it back to get the opening through the front of the pelvis, through that tensor facial artery and into the iliotibial band at the side of the thigh. Just breathe there. And again, I want you to observe as you breathe where the resistance is and the tightnesses are on this side of the body. Maybe it's the same, maybe it's totally different. Know that we're right now working to bring balance into both sides of the body. Stay here and breathe. Remember, the ideal is to hold this pose for at least a minute, breathing towards the resistance, softening and letting go and releasing being easy, surrendering to gravity as you keep that left knee and thigh opening back towards the bottom corner of the mat and the ceiling. Is your head comfortably turned to look down the left arm? Are you breathing down to your belly? On the next breath in, just pull back to center. And let's do the close twist now. Let's wrap that left leg tightly round the right hooking the toes if that's possible. Move the shoulders down. Let's twist now to the left three times before we twist to the right. Take a breath in and on the breath out, move both knees over to the left as you turn your head to look right. Breathing in smoothly, slowly, pull back to center. Breathing out, how far left and you twist as you turn your head right, no forcing. Breathing in, pull back to center. Breathing out, twisting to the left, turning to the right with the head. Breathing in, pulling back to center. And this time as you breathe out, move both legs over to the right as you turn your head to look left. Remember, we want to be able to relax and let go. So if you feel that the weight of the legs is pulling you too deeply into a twist, have some support 
under the thighs or the knees so that you can relax into it. Never jam, never strain. Breathe down to the belly. Breathe and just relax, allowing yourself to melt into the floor with each breath out. Keeping that left shoulder blade and as many of the left back ribs moving towards the floor as you can. Is your neck comfortable? As you create space, can you turn a little bit deeper to look down that left arm? Never jam the neck. Breathing in, we're going to pull back to center now. And we're going to unravel the legs. And we're going to reach out into a full body stretch to bring that symmetry back through the body, to bring balance through left and right sides of the body. So reach the legs out along the mat, pushing into the heels, pulling the toes towards you. Are you reaching down the inner leg as much as the outer leg, the back of the leg, as you contract the front of the leg? Don't let those big toes pull closer than the little toes. Keep the tail tucking so that the waist stays long. And as you breathe in, reach the arms over, but remember to keep those lower back ribs grounded. As you reach into the fingers, keep the shoulders moving down the ribs so that the neck is long. You might have to have a folded blanket under the neck and head if the chin wants to poke up to the ceiling. Breathe and reach and stretch out from center. And on the next breath out, just lower the arms down. I want you to bend the knees up, bringing the soles of the feet together now. Bringing, or allowing the knees to float wide out to the side. Have support for the knees if they find this too strong to keep the inner thighs extended for an extended period. Bring the hands together now above the, uh, the chest, interlocking the fingers and pushing the knuckles up to the ceiling. Walk the shoulder blades down the ribs and ground the shoulder, back of the shoulders into the, the, the mat. As you breathe in, keeping the elbows locked, the knees wide, pull the arms as far overhead towards the floor behind you as you can. And as you breathe out, push, the knuckles back towards the ceiling. Away you go, moving the fingers along your center line as you breathe in, as you breathe out. With each breath in, the arms come over. With each breath out, the arms move back to the vertical, to the initial position. Keep the elbows locked. You may find that you can't Bring the arms as far over as you want to with the elbows locked, that's fine. We're working to bring symmetry through the spine now, through the neck and the shoulders and the upper back. That will only happen if you move with perfect form, with perfect symmetry. Don't perpetuate misalignment. Keep breathing and moving the chest. And on the next breath out, just pause. Release the arms out to the side, bringing the arms in line with the shoulders. Breathe in, bring the knees gently back to center. Feet grounding on the mat. Breathing out, we're doing a gentle rolling twist now. Roll the knees to the right as you turn your head to the left. Breathing in, roll the knees to the left as you turn your head to the right. Breathe and roll and twist and feel. And on the next pull back to centre, we're going to pause. And we're going to finish our practice with an extended exhale. So I want you to get comfortable in that wide knee position. So I want you to have a surface to support the legs, maybe some rolled towels or blankets or a bolster if you've got them or some pillows even. I'll just be demonstrating what you can use now. 
When you're ready, settle with the soles of the feet together, the feet grounded on the far side of your bolster or your blankets and the knees wide. I want you to have your hands one on top of the other, on top of the abdomen with the shoulders relaxed down, the neck long. It might be more relaxing to have a folded blanket under the neck and head so that the shoulders and the neck can relax more readily. I want you to be completely comfortable so we can focus on the breath. Bring your awareness to the breath now. Make sure you've lowered the gaze and closed the eyes so that you can pull the focus inwards. Feel the gentle expansion of the breath in, the gentle contraction of the breath out, tuning into the rhythm of your breath, into the rhythm of the movement. Just stay with the breath. Feel that expansion of the abdomen and the chest on the breath in. Feel the contraction back of both abdomen and chest as you breathe out. And we're going to move now into an extended exhale. Extending the breath out is very calming for the mind. So this is going to really bring you into your central nervous system and calm your system right down. And know that it's in this central nervous system that healing and restoration takes place. We're going to breathe out and we're going to sound the breath out with a sound. So take a deep breath in. And when you're ready, I want you to push the breath out over the tongue, through the lips and sound that for as long as possible. At the end of the breath out, just bring the lips together and take a breath in through the nose. And on the breath out, away you go again, sounding the breath out with a Keep going. Keep Breathing in through the nose, pushing the air out through the, the mouth, sounding it out the whole time. How long can you keep that sound going for without straining? I want you to hear the volume of the sound that you're making. I want you to feel the volume of air flow. Can you keep the sound of the breath and the volume of the airflow with the same from the start of the breath out to the end. Breathing in through the nose, pushing out through the mouth. How long can you keep that breath, that sound going for? And at the end of the breath out, when you feel that there's no air left in the lungs, know that there is, there's always air in the lungs. Give an extra little push. Don't force them. So at the end of the breath out, when you finish this, give an extra little push. Before taking a breath in, we really want to push as much earth out from those lower lobes as possible so that we can really exchange the air, bring something new and fresh and vital deep down to the lower lungs. Stay with the breath, sounding that breath out, moving the air deep into the lower lobes. Know that there's proprioceptors in the lower lobes of the lungs. And when they're activated by deeper breathing, they bring you into your central nervous system. And when you move into your central nervous system, you start to heal and restore, revitalize and rejuvenate. Stay with the breath. No forcing, no straining. If you do get lightheaded or dizzy 
or claustrophobic, just resume normal breathing and come back to this when you feel ready. Staying with the breath, sounding the sound. We're going to make the next deep breath out, the last in the extended exhale. And when you're ready, come back to just normal breathing or whatever normal breathing is for you. Stay with the breath, feeling the gentle expansion of the breath in the gentle expansion of the breath out. Feel the gentle rise. Feel the gentle fall. And when you're ready, you can choose to relax the arms at the side of the body, bringing the legs over the bolster or to ground level and just relax here in Shavasana. Or you can bring those knees together and come up into a seated position. Hopefully, you have anchored deep into self and the muddled mind has quietened and been iron smooth so that whatever storm is raging in the exterior hectic world you can still be still open and ready for whatever arrives namaste dear ones sending so much love and remember before the next viral video, two stretches every waking hour. <laughs>